Hey everybody, what's up? Today is Sunday, June 9th. I am back from Cincinnati. I couldn't stay too long though, so there's no footage. I couldn't be there for an extended period of time because I did not want to turn into Butch Jones. Back here behind me though, my Bermuda's getting shaggy. We've had probably about five and a half, six inches of rainfall since Thursday. I need to get this taken care of. It's very moist, so let's do some moist mowing. So the tons of rain has things growing super, super tall. I got the front yard done. The backyard should do even better simply because the Yukon does not scalp as easily as the La Prima crap that's in the front yard. I got really, really lucky. For a moment there, I thought I was gonna be on scalp number three of the season and it's not even mid-June yet. But thankfully, I'm good to go. So I'm happy there. The rainfall has rejuvenated things. It's actually brought back a ton of the ryegrass too, which was all pretty much dead. So I will have to spray it out. Oh well, or I might let it live and we'll do an experiment. Not sure yet. So I'm getting ready to finish off the back here. We have storm clouds coming in yet again because we have been in five continual days of just nonstop rain, five or six inches of rain. It has been absolutely miserable. So I'm breaking the one-third rule here. 
you can see that. Why am I not concerned? Well, one, because it's alpha grass, it's Bermuda. But wait a second, hold on. What if you take too much Bermuda off, real low dad? I thought you said that it would go brown underneath. Well, yeah, it kind of does that sometimes when you're mowing it up there like this tall, instead of down here like this tall where it's supposed to be. So, back here, my yard's a little over, I don't know, maybe like an inch and a quarter. I'm taking it back down to just under half an inch right now. Mower's running in the background, safety first. But there's no scalping. Why is that? Well, first of all, one, I've already been mowing real low, so the grass is getting maximum light. The height of the grass is simply just a byproduct of the six plus inches of rain we've received over the past three or four days. So that's why the grass down below has not had time yet to react to the lack of sunlight. That's why I was focusing on getting this mode now with the chance of impending rainstorms coming simply to prevent that from happening because scalp number three would suck. It would suck hard. But another reason why is, why can I break the one third rule like this? You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that with cool season grasses. You wanna know why? Because they're not alpha grasses. Alpha grasses are Bermuda. They take things and they keep on going. Those other cool season grasses, oh, they'll get brown, they'll get a little wilted and withered and upset. Why? Because they're beta grasses. Just like that guy in high school you knew that acted all tough, but then all of a sudden had syphilis. Yeah, because he went ahead and went and paid for it. You don't have to pay for it with Bermuda. It just keeps on giving. So let's get back to mowing. There we have it, our little session of moist mowing. We got it taken care of before it got too long and I had to scalp again and I brought out the dormancy. As you can see back here, oh man, it's looking good. Things are filling in nice all around. I'm happy. So here's a super quick video for y'all. Now I wanna give another little tidbit of information. I'm on the cusp of 1000 subscribers yeah, no big deal. However, I'm also on that cusp of the magical 4,000 watch hours. I'm actually gonna probably hit that first because you all love me so much. So stay tuned for a giveaway of something that you all might like. Look at that. Disease free after six days and 100% humidity. All hail the Bermuda grass, alpha grass. We'll see you all soon.